Well, the time has come uh, to leave my apartment in the 411 building, and it's kind of, uh, you know, you know, kind of bittersweet, you know. So I thought I would just show show myself around uh, uh, before I take all of this stuff down. Um, as you can probably guess, uh, this is the spacious kitchen, uh, which uh, has the one window um, opening out onto the uh, Gay Street. If, if you listen closely, you might be able to hear the ocean. Um, it's really, without that window, I don't know what I would have done all the time I've been living here. Um, over here is some of my artwork. I, here, here's the Space Needle souvenir that I got at Goodwill on Chapman Highway. And here are some things that my crazy aunt made. Um, and then over here, um, this is a little uh, assemblage that I did, a Southern Baptist Convention disaster relief license plate from my dad's truck. And as you can see, I added some things to it, um, including uh, this spoon from 1977. Uh, it's all covering the phone jack on the wall. Um, over here are some uh, spices with a, a Boy Scout. And then, of course, up here is um, a watercolor that Wayne White made uh, for, for me. It's, it's actually called For Brian. Um, and that that's somebody that I think we might have met out in uh, Chickamauga one day. There's Buck Owens there in the background. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, I'll pan over here. And, um, there's, oh look, it's my mother's red, red food store cookbook. And then here is, uh, that's me and, and Wayne and a dog named Reaver on Carol's porch back in 1970-something. And there's Miriam's... Uh, postcard vermin you know we'll just sort of go over this way um let's see there's my uh there's my dad's lunch box from dupont and my buddy christ and uh, a llama uh, made with real llama fur and my old roller cord and a drum from my childhood that i got on my trip to california in 1965 and then uh that is my uh old uh, dark room timer and uh, Royal Ambassador Camp badge. I, I earned the coveted uh, Camper Award. Uh, there's Johnny Cash, of course, and, and uh, Stacy's sticker. And uh, it's pretty exciting stuff. Um, down there are the last green beans that my mother canned before she died. I can't bring myself to eat them. And then over here is the this room it's many rooms in one uh, there's four rooms here um, this is the parlor uh, right here and you can see it's uh, enough room for two people and um, maybe more it's decorated professionally uh, some photographs i made when i was in college over there then you scroll over this way and this is uh um, the den, or some might call it the man cave, which I think is a really stupid thing to call in, call anything. Well, anyway, and then you go over here to the, obviously the library. Very, I love the library. It's my favorite spot, and I spent a lot of time there. And then, of course, obviously, as you've already guessed, this is the guest room. Um, and then here is the the dance floor uh, and exercise area. Um, back over that way, back in there is, is the dining, dining room. Uh, and then, as you can see, I have my boxes ready to pack all this stuff up. Uh, I've got some good art on the walls. I mean, here's a little assemblage um, uh, with, uh, I'm not sure what that says. It has something to do with death to America or something. I don't know. I would love to know. Uh, and then, um, that's me down there. And then... This is a painting by an amazing artist named Jeff Delude. Um, I've had that for years. Uh, it, I got that at MTSU. And then over, over here is uh, a thing I made when I lived in Memphis. That's my friend Ronnie. I made a portrait of Ronnie. And then uh, that's, that's my mother's... Um, my mother got this as a wedding gift back in 
1946, I think, I guess it was. And, and so, you know, it's always kind of, right? you know, various, there's, there's just stories everywhere in here. I won't bore you. You know, there's some freedom fighters and different things. And, um, there's a, you know, there's, there's George Jones right there. Um, that's the Big Lick Boom thing I found in the trash at Big Lick Boom. There's Pee Wee. Yeah, Pee Wee. Up here is some stuff that I don't know how to describe this. I won't get into it. It's another one of my uh, works of art from long ago and a poster from Miriam's show. And over here um, in, in the man cave is uh, the, are these uh, African, um, uh, I don't know what you call them, weavings, actually, wall hangings. Um, a guy gave these to my parents on their 50th wedding anniversary, and they immediately stuck them under the bed, and I was the first to hang them. My dad repaired this with uh, electrician's tape. He did a really good job. And I, that is uh, my dad's uh, Southern Baptist uh, disaster relief um, baseball cap. It's got, got, got a lot of disaster dirt on it, which I think is kind of cool. And over here, of course, is Big Lick Boom. I mean, excuse me, uh, you know, Beauty is, in, is Embarrassing and Bear Cat. This is like a, a lot of Wayne White stuff in here. This is a painting that Wayne White did. Uh, when he was a student, and he hates it, I, he would probably destroy it if he could. I, but I like it. I, I've, I've had it since 1979, and it's called Brian's Painting. It's a painting of a racetrack near Murfreesboro. And then here are some some uh, rocks that I got in the mail after the shooting, you know, try, helping me, uh, you know, feel better about things. And somebody, I don't know who did that. It, it's it's kind of cool, you know. Uh, and then uh, in here, um, there, there, I found these paintings uh, in the trash can on Gay Street uh, the day I moved into this apartment uh, four, over four years ago. Um, I don't know. Go, go figure. I, ne I never, I like them. I, it's the best find. I, uh, up here, of course, is... Uh, I still am hoping that Charlie, Charlie will will become a city councilman. But so far, nobody ever sees this sign. Probably should put it in a more prominent place. Um, okay, I'm almost done. Um, you know, oh, here's my um, here's my grandfather's grandfather clock, uh, and he actually uh, gave this to my mother, and my mother um, hung it uh, up and. Um, it, it always runs slow, uh, and that's why she was always late her entire life for things. I'm not making that up. It's really true. Uh, here's a weird little display of various uh, things, including this uh, IOU one sweet potato pie, which I still have not gotten. Miriam, thank you. Um, and, of course, here's a little seal ball and then uh, Jerry Lee, Jimmy Lee uh, poster from 1986 of Wayne, another Wayne White thing. Way too many Wayne White things in here. You know, oh, I was in this. They, uh, yeah, Chip Taylor. Yeah, I got to read poetry with Chip Taylor. That's, yeah, I'm cool. Okay, and here is uh, the bathroom, which is wonderful. Uh-oh, I'm in my underwear. Sorry. And then there's uh, my toothbrush. It's pretty, all my medicine is just scary to just look at it like that and Frank Sinatra of course um, and then almost done in here is my study uh, and a bed bedroom the bedroom is this part of this room this is part is, is the bedroom that's the study over there and then um, this is uh, the business center um, and over over here there's Peter Taylor prize uh, uh, oh Haley my, my father made that um, out of a church pew, if you can believe it. And it's sturdy, man. That's one sturdy car. There's my, some of my relatives over there. Uh, here's Miriam. Uh, it's a picture of Miriam. Charles Wright book. And then over here is Sarah Ben Book's poster. And, and this is the book I'm writing. It's a bunch of poems about the shooting. And then uh, I've been working on this for most of my life, I think. It's going to be called Picnic at the Bloody Pond. And then over here are some pictures of Stacy. And um, 
And then, of course, I guess I can end this with uh, Hank Williams.